if I was to offer you a glass of wine and I was going to offer you a glass of wine with um, mouldy orange peel and wet nappies and nail varnish remover, you probably wouldn't fancy it very much, and I don't blame you. But that's the world of wine descriptions, which, quite frankly, have gone barking mad. To help us demystify the whole scenario, I'm very pleased to say we have the McWilliams Guide and the McWilliams Guide to Demystifying Wine and Wine Language. I'm delighted to say that Chief Winemaker at McWilliams is uh, uh, Philip Ryan, who's joined us here in the studio. Good to have you with us, Philip. Thanks, you, thanks, thanks for joining us. The survey that's, uh, that went out along with the guide said that one in five British women thought that uh, a full-bodied wine meant it, made it, meant it was made with fat grapes. Just one of the great findings that you found out, which is extraordinary. It's hardly surprising, though, because the whole wine industry is just mushroomed, hasn't it? It's grown so dramatically over the last 20 years, and now we have a whole raft of new consumers, which is fantastic. Mm. So the industry is growing very quickly, and uh, I'm glad to say that uh, McWilliams, uh, we, this, uh, England is our number one uh, market uh, right. in the world, and uh, uh, we're very much enjoying this growth that's happening here. It's fantastic. Okay. Well, it's, it has been a great growth, as you said, and it's not surprising that the knowledge hasn't caught up with the wines themselves. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about Mc McWilliams wines here. J.J. Uh, McWilliams uh, obviously was the founder of McMillan. Uh, yes, McWilliams it goes wines. back a long way. J.J. Right. Um, established the brand um, back in 1877, so uh, McWilliams are very well-established uh, vineyards and wineries in Australia. We've been... Uh, We've, we've, we spread right through Australia. We're head office in Sydney, but we're in um, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, and we also have vineyard resources in Western Australia. So mm. um, our company is in its sixth generation of uh, family control now, and uh, we're enjoying the ride. You're right. And uh, when we're talking about uh, New World wines, we are, of course, talking about a wine winery here in McWilliams Wines, almost 130 years old, mm -hmm. still a New World. New World really refers to wines made outside of the old world established countries, the Americas, South America, Australia, New Zealand? That's right, yeah. yes. So the New World is, uh, uh, is really the follow-on of, of, of civilization. You look at the wine industry began um, 10,000 years ago, so there's nothing new about the wine mm. industry. Mm. And it followed um, with the Greeks and the Romans in, through into, into Europe, and uh, now the Europeans have brought it through to the, um, uh, to the New World. So yeah. it's um, part, of, part of our culture, part of our life. 